and now our icebreakers are both done. Yay! Congratulations! Yes! <laughs> now, you told me before you started your speech that you were nervous. And I did not see that at all when you were standing on this stage. You stood here with confidence, with poise. You used your stage very well. Moving back and forth, you had hand gestures, body language that went really well with what you were saying and trying to convey to your audience. I loved your opening because you started by grabbing the audience's attention, asking them a question. And I really like this phrase, curiosity killed the cat. Now, there's a second part to this. Satisfaction brought him back. <laughs> so, cats have nine lives, right? And that curiosity can be enough to bring us back. So, I think from your speech, we saw you have a lot of courage and curiosity, and that will keep you going no matter what. You'll always be able to come back and try again and learn something new. And that's a really fantastic introduction of yourself that you've given to the club since. It's your first one. <laughs> so excited. So, yes, engaging the audience was great. You also had very good stage presence moving along up here. I also thought your speech structure had a very logical flow to it. The way you told your stories and moved from one point to another was very smooth and connected and logical, which that's really impressive for an icebreaker speech when sometimes, okay, I want to tell this story and this story and this story, and it gets a little disjointed, but that did, wasn't an issue for you up here for your very first time, so excellent speech structure. And you ended with a call to action, which is a fantastic way to conclude a speech, asking the audience to think about and reflect on what you've just told them. Do they have that courage? What's their, what are they curious about? Where's that curiosity coming from? And what do they want to get to next, right? So, let me see. Yes, stay curious, right? Stay courageous. So, that wonderful call to action. Now, when you were telling your story about Spain, I felt like maybe at that point in the speech you were starting to feel a little bit of the jitters maybe just a little bit, because you started to talk faster. <laughs> and then, after you got past that point, you slowed back down, and there were longer pauses. So, I think the one thing that you can work on for next time is trying to keep a consistent pace, unless it's in an intentional pause in your story, or you need the language to be faster. Excellent job.